Hello guys and welcome to this Blender Rigging tutorial. Today we will talk about custom properties. This is not a tutorial for only grease pencil but for rigging in general in Blender and maybe for other things too. So we'll learn what custom properties are, how to create a custom property and how to use them with drivers and also some advantages and disadvantages of using custom properties. So what are custom properties? They are additional settings that you can create yourself to control custom stuff. Just like we have here, we have these four drivers that are controlled by this bone here when this bone moves in the x location its local x location as you can see for example in this driver we have this bone called flip the type is x location in its local space so when it moves it will control these four drivers here and if you hit n you can see the x value for the bone here if you change this value here you will also move the bone and control the driver so what a custom property is is just a setting like this one a setting that you create yourself specifically for controlling drivers for example so what we will do is to change these drivers from being controlled by this bone to being controlled by a custom property by the way we already talked about this 360 turning rig in a previous video so if you want to learn how to make it and how these drivers work and more drivers because here we simplified stuff with just these four drivers please check the other video I will leave it at the top right or in the description so let's create our custom property for that we go here to object properties for our armature here and we go all the way to the bottom and we expand this one custom property and we add a new custom property and we can change the settings of our property by clicking on this gear here but before that let's see quickly what our drivers do here so we have this rig that goes from this position and when we move this bone like this it starts moving to like the right and then it will flip and then it will turn again to the left and we can loop this animation again from the start so what we have is a bone of the head that will turn at certain points and we have this dress changing the frames of the dress changing thanks to a time offset modifier and we have also a head that turns at this point here so we have like six states of this animation we have this first stage the second one third these are the front states and then the back one two three we have the head that turns in like the second state and in the third fourth state the head will turn back and then in the fifth state the head will rotate again to the other side and then we have this so to make my custom property easier to use i will customize its settings based on what our drivers do so here we have type float and we have a minimum from zero to one if you move this value it goes from zero to one and it has these decimals so we go again to settings and we change change type from flow to integer and now since we have six states we will change the minimum and maximum to one and six now we have this property name we can name it anything like maybe pepa flip and we can also add a description flips the rig we hit okay again and now we have our name pepa flip here we see zero here but if we change it we won't be able to get zero again so we get one two three four five six only integers from one to six so we have the limits already set here when we control with the bone sometimes we need to add a limit location so that the bone don't go let's disable the limit location you see without the limit location the bone can move freely and we get these glitches here if we move it by mistake to here for example or here so this is one of the advantages of using the custom property is that we already have a limit set here so now we have our custom property let's use it with our drivers let's go to our first driver this is the one that controls the bone here if you hit n you see that the x location of the bone is controlled by this driver and we have this expression here so this expression says if var is less than minus 0.001 or is greater than 0.06 so that is the x location of the bone this is why we have this uh, weird values here if one of these conditions is true the rotation of the bone will be 3.14 that is p and that means in this case 180 degrees or else the rotation will be zero degrees since we will use our custom property we know that the bone rotates at state 2 or frame 2 and then it will rotate at frame 5 so we change this one minus 001 to 2 and we change this one to 5 and of course here we will replace the bone here with our custom property so first we click here and we change from transform channel to single property remember that and then we have our armature here already selected and then we need a path to get this path you go to your custom property you right click you look for copy data path and you paste it here enter and now it should work i guess so if we move our custom property 
yes the bone will change so let's do the same for our other drivers let's go to the time offset for the dress here we have var multiplied by 50 this multiplication is to make the change of the dress frames faster plus two because i wanted the default state to be frame two of the dress let's see the dress here in the top sheet it has these six frames here and if you disable the time offset modifier you can see these six frames here one two three and one two three but because our custom property values are really simple we don't need this multiplication anymore so we just delete these and keep only var and what happened uh, of course we will need to change from controlling with the bone to controlling with the custom property we have our armature here and we passed the path here so control v enter very simple and very beautiful so this is the second advantage your expressions will be simpler if you change the settings of your property to match what your drivers do unlike controlling drivers with bones where you have to rely on values like this and you have to create your expressions based on these values that you can't control now let's do it for the third driver so this is about making a few layers invisible when the head turns to the other side like the eyes layer here and the mouth etc we saw that pepa will go to the other side in frame four so we just change this to four so change again this to single property and we have armature here and we passed our path for the property here voila then we do it for the head so we change this to four change this to single property and then paste enter and let's test again <clears throat> yes it is working very fine so again if you want to learn about these drivers please check the 360 turning video and also if you want to learn in depth about custom properties please check the video by Pierrick Pico where he explains custom properties in depth and with technical information not like me here trying to explain it to people like me not too comfortable with technical stuff but who are just artists wanting to do some art with Blender. So this is it we made our custom property and we made it control four drivers at once and we learned about some advantages of the custom property and to one disadvantage now when you are animating your rig you have all these bones and you can animate them all from one place but then if you want to turn your rig you will have to go here and keyframe this value or to go to object mode and hit n and go here to properties so of course it's much more practical to just move this bone like this and turn your rig while you are animating your other bones than to go to other places let's try to keyframe it so insert keyframe yes so here is the keyframe for the paper flip here but i guess we can add a driver to it and make it controllable with the bone let's clear keyframes first right click add driver let's go here paper flip driver add our armature add our flip bone and i guess multiply this one by 50 again x location in local space and let's try it <laughs> so you can do this too but is it worth it i don't know so this is it if you know more advantages or disadvantages maybe to custom properties and how they may or may not simplify rigging please share it in the comments thank you for watching please also check my gumroad there are some awesome rigs there that you can buy and the free tutorials attached to them so you can make your own awesome rigs thank you for watching and see you in another video peace